I'm Whitney. I'm here with RT Book Reviews at our 2012 convention in Chicago. We are just about to kick off our second annual Teen Day, and I am here with the fantastic Franny Billingsley. Hi. And we're going to chat a little bit about Chime and what readers can expect next. So Franny, I have to ask you, how do you say your heroine's name? Because I read the entire book thinking it was Bryony, but then maybe it was Byrony. Bryony. Bryony. Yeah. Okay. That's a fantastic name. What inspired you to pick that? Was you she know, always a Bryony? No, she wasn't always a Bryony. For a long time, she had a name, Ideen, which is a fairy name, and it was originally the story was going to be set in a fairy world. Oh. So a long, it took me a long time to write this book, and it, you know. So at the beginning of the book, I was looking for fairy names. Um, but she changed, the story changed, and she became this prickly sort of character. And so I named her Briar. Mm -hmm. Then Briar didn't seem quite, it was a little bit too prickly, and she was going to mellow out. So Bryony just seemed like the right name. I like it. Yeah. It definitely flows. And Bryony has, I hate to say inner angst, but that's exactly what that's it is. Fine. She's pretty angsty, yeah. I mean, she thinks yeah. she's evil. Yeah. And... Watching her go through the transformation and really coming to accept herself was one of my favorite parts of this story. So I was wondering, what inspired that for her? Did you have something in your own life that you were kind of working through? You know, I sort of backed into it. As I say, I set the story in a fairy tale world. The thing is, nobody was changing. Mm -hmm. There was a sister whose brother was stolen by the fairies and she was going to rescue him. But nobody changed. You know, there was no character development. So I rewrote it and I rewrote it and I rewrote it, rewrote it and I kind of backed into Bryony. And I did, in fact, give her some of my own insecurities. So, of course, I don't think I'm evil. I don't think I murdered somebody. <laughs> I hope not. But... Yeah. <laughs> but my experience growing up would be, for example, that I'd say, this is the way I feel about something. And my mother would say, no, you don't feel that way because we made sure that this happened. You know, so mm -hmm. she was threatened when I didn't feel perfect, that mm -hmm. everything had gone perfectly. So I grew up kind of not being sure that what I felt was true, mm -hmm. was real, mm -hmm. and, and which also leads you to not always knowing what you feel. And so I took those emotions, I gave them to Bryony, and then I magnified them. So it wasn't so much that she didn't, that people were saying, no, you, you don't feel that way. They say, you did this. Mm -hmm. But it's the same process. You begin to believe you're another person. You don't trust yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the genesis of Bryony's angst. And I think, yeah. that, I think that a lot of teens can really relate to that, that, that struggle to really know who you are or what yeah. you are. And there's another really interesting struggle that I felt that you don't necessarily see as much of, is the challenges that she has with her stepmother, um, who, you know, she just, that relationship just isn't working out the way she thinks. Right. Um, is there like, well, I don't want to know if there's mommy problems. I hope there aren't. <laughs> but kind of what, what are you hoping that readers will really take away from that relationship? You know, I haven't thought about that. Oh. You know, she really, <laughs> the stepmother was there as a villain, mm -hmm. as a protagonist, as, as antagonist. And antagonist tends, antagonists tend to move the story forward. Mm -hmm. It's actually a very long time before she came in. Um, I don't think I had any big thoughts about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it resonated with me, so maybe huh. that says more about me than it should. Yeah. Well, I don't but, know. You know and I, also, I mean, I guess the thing is that Bryony, you know, to the extent that Bryony doesn't know who she is, she's this big void or vacuum inside of her, and the stepmother, being a sort of conniving, manipulative person, mm -hmm. managed to fill that void. Yes. Perhaps that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think of her as being purely villainous, and I have no particular connection to her. Well, and it's not just the stepmother that I found really interesting, but the entire world that you created that's sort of fairy tale-ish, but part fantasy and part historical. And can you talk a little bit more about how that developed? Well, I'll tell you the truth. I, again, back to, you know, I started this in nine, last millennium, 1998, <laughs> fairy tale world, blah, blah, blah. I tried a lot of settings. One of the mm -hmm. settings I tried was a, a mining setting. For a while, she was living in a mining village. Mm -hmm. And I got a book that was set in, though it talked about a mining disaster in 1911. And I thought, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to set this world in 1911. Um, and although I took away the mines and whatnot, the world stayed. And then what I found was happening is that it was a, it was it became a story about the erosion of the natural world and the invasion mm -hmm. of technology and the disappearance of magic. And so those two things came together. There was a confluence of the 1911 setting, uh, which felt right because mm -hmm. all that technology was just there, you know, happening. The development of the car, the first plane, uh, um, flight of the aircraft, and then the old ones 
being killed by the technology. And so those two things happen for different reasons, but mm -hmm. then came together in a kind of felicitous way. I'd say felicitous is the perfect word to explain it. I think that it's very, to me it felt very sort of Irish folktale-y mm. without being, you know, this is an Irish folktale. Right, 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 yes. <laughs> so is without your, playing the tin whistle. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So can you tell me a little bit about your next book? Is it going to be set in the same world? What can we expect from you well, next? I, mm, so let me just say what I just said a lot, a lot of times. It took me a long time to write this book. <laughs> and in the 12 years it took me to write it, mm -hmm. I got ideas for, well, a bunch of other things, but I got two ideas for books that really interested me. Mm -hmm. You know, And so I made notes on them. I put them in my filing system. And... Um, you know, they would sort of percolate in the back of my mind. Then, as I was working on the copy edits, mm -hmm. the proofs of Chime, I thought, these books belong in the world of Chime. I had no idea mm -hmm. until I'd finished Chime. But they're thematically related. Like, mm -hmm. and here's the thing. I hope I'm not kidding myself. Okay. It's, I want them to belong in the world of Chime because it's a world I know. It's going to be easier to write. There may be some overlap of character. Anyway, I understand the system, which took me a long time to figure out. I'm very excited about this overlap of yeah. character yeah. thing. <laughs> Are you, who might we be seeing maybe? Do you know? Well, you might see Eldrick from a distance. I think you're going to see Titty Rex. Okay. okay. Um, I, I can live with that. Yeah. I like Titty Rex. I, I, like, I don't know if we're going to see Bryony. I don't mm -hmm. know if I can revisit Bryony and make her without wrecking her. Do you know what Exa I mean? Absolutely. Her story st stands so completely I, on its own. That's what I feel. And I think in a world of sequels and prequels and trequels and everything else, yeah. I really loved that this was a book that you could just pick up, read on, all on its own, and it felt complete. Contained. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, those are the kind. And I often am disappointed in the sequels. That's mm -hmm. the thing, because I import my expectation from the previous book. And of course, no author can meet that expectation. Right. <laughs> so I don't know. If it's just the setting, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. But that's my plan anyway. Okay. Can you tell me two details, one about each book? I know that mm. it's tough. I need a detail. I need something. Okay. They need something. Okay. <laughs> Second one, eight. 1918, just after the Second World War, okay. First World War, excuse me, the Great Influenza, but it will Ooh. not have been caught, but it will be caused by supernatural forces. Ah. So, sort of, sort of following mm -hmm. on some of the, you know, swamp cough yes. theme. I feel like that's very yeah. in keeping. Yeah. And this idea that magic in in Bryony's world, magic is not necessarily a good thing. No, it's no, it can very be... much something to stay far, far away from. If right, you can. <laughs> or don't stir the pot. You know, mm -hmm. don't, don't get into an adversarial relationship with the magic. Exactly. So that's book one. What that's about book, book two? two? Or I think of it or as book two. Book two, book three. And book three, um, something bad has happened. Oh. <laughs> World has changed. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not so sure about this. I, It's going to be called Cloud, though, I think. Ooh. The second one will be called Shadow. So I'll chime, oh, Shadow, and Cloud. Oh, I like it. Um, and I don't know much about this book, mm -hmm. but somehow my protagonist is going to start, the world has become a mess, mm -hmm. the old ones basically are dead. She's going to start, bring it back to life in some way, and I have no idea. Rebirth. Yeah, Growth. exactly. The summer, well, the spring, I guess. Yeah, right, Before Easter, all that stuff. Easter. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. Hey, I know. pleasure was fun. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I hope that you have a great rest of your team day. And I know that all of our fans at home are, will be very excited to see this. Thank you. And this has been a great conference. Anyone who wants to come, you should come. It's a fantastic <laughs> conference. Yeah.